Looking for some portable power? Check out this review. All right, what's up everybody? I'm Luke with Tailgate and Challenge. Today, we're checking out some portable power. We brought it here in our nice wagon, but we're gonna take a look at something that's gonna make sure you can power your tailgating or off the grid adventures right now. Check this out. This is the Outlaw 1072S, the Reliant portable power station. So it's clean, that means there's no noise, there's no gas, there's no emissions. Let's open it up right now and see what's inside. All right, here it is. So this weighs about 32 pounds. So this is, this is one of the heavier ones that I've tested so far. I love the color blue, so that's pretty cool. Here's our digital screen. And cut that on, it shows you the draw. It shows you how much power is left in there. You can see all the different spots we got in here too. So we got our USB, we got our C, we've got our quick charger as well too, and a variety of different ways to get charged. Right here, these are not speakers. These are things to help it cool off. Here's our other side. Again, ways to cool off, and then some additional ways to get it charged with the adapter. Your dual plugs right here, and you'll hit the power button there if you want to use them. All right, so let's take this outlaw out there, do some tailgating, charge some stuff up, and see how this does in our next tailgating challenge. Cut it out here, we fired it up. So we got our power station over here. We have this cut on, we got the freezer and the fridge settings going. We set them down to what we wanted. I can even use it to charge up another portable power station. And it's even charging our beer fridge down here too. All right, so again, this was the Reliant, the outlaw portable power station. So we put it through the test for it. Again, one of the things that I love, like the blue color, like is so different and unique and stylish than other ones, the LCD panel that we got in the back here that shows your inputs, your outputs, and how much charge is left on there. Speaking of charge, this charges like when you charge this up. So it gets about 10% an hour, roughly. So you're looking at eight to 10 hours to get it fully charged up for it. So we tested things from hair dryers to blenders to coolers and everything in between. There was one thing, only one thing that we found that didn't work and because it had too much of a power draw, it was for an electric heater that we had. So that was the only thing so far that this thing couldn't do that we put on it. Remember, a thousand watts of power, 2000 peak power for the wattage on there as well too. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna finish up by having both this coolers running down here, electric cooler, and we're gonna hit the Vitamix. So it's a big power draw to see if both of them are gonna work at the same time. So before I do that, my only two areas of feedback for this is one, this is a heavier power station, 32 pounds, heaviest one I've tested so far. The other thing is when we use this side of it, there's a little bit of a hum on there that you'll hear on this thing right now. All right, so one thing, if you can listen here, there's just a little tiny squeak. Let's see if we can listen here whenever we're using this side of it. Right, let's do our final test today in the tailgating challenge with the Outlaw. All right, let's see how this goes. Excellent, actually. With multiple things running on it, too, that's the real test. Again, I'm Luke with Tailgating Challenge. I love putting tailgating and home gating products to the test. Check out the website at the bottom of the screen right now to see all of those honest reviews that we do and then follow social media. Because what we do is we test stuff just like this and then give you a chance to win fun stuff every single week. Drop us a comment. Let us know what questions you have. What did we miss on this? How did we do on this one? Until next time, if you're ready to be an outlaw at your next tailgate, it's time to check out the Reliant Outlaw Portable Power Station. Cheers to that.